Alright. Yeah. Definitely need some wood in here. Yeah. Doesn't hurt throw some smaller shit in. You know, get stuff going. You guys all know how fire works. Yeah, all this stuff's dry. A lot of this I took off of some trees out there. I just, you know, dead dead hanging wood, whatever you call it. I don't know. I don't want to ruin too much of the kindling. Um, but I want to get it. Ah, do I want to try it? Yeah, fuck it, man. Let's see. All right. Well, hopefully, boys, it'll get hot in the hot tank. Um, it is 57 in here now. So you can see the thermometer, uh, maybe. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what comes out in this camera and what doesn't until I'm editing. So if that's not coming out, uh, oh, hey, just went up to 58. That says 28 outside, uh, which it probably is, probably feels like 20. So that means it's 20. I ain't getting on that rant, boys. I'm just gonna have a beer. It's all right, boys. Don't worry, not a Tarantino film. Uh, Dickie socks I've had on. I think I must have changed my socks today already about three times. Uh, let's see, one, it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, um, took off those ones I had when I got up, put on another pair, then just tramping around outside. Stuff, more of it was sweating, uh, cause the shoes, I did those old Merrells that I had. I mean, you guys saw the new ones. Um, these definitely waterproof. Uh, great shoes right out of the box, waterproof. Uh, the old ones, oh, they're kind of compromised. So those socks got wet, changed them, got these on. Um, I'm going to just kind of leave these on before I throw on uh, my lounging socks. Yeah, man. Uh, but let's get ourselves a fucking beer, man. So ain't first of the day, but I drink this one, the old man. Tom Fermansky, as my dad had mentioned before, he died uh, last year, July 31st, uh, what was last year, 2023, 22, so yeah man, it's been a while, uh, I miss him a lot, you know, uh, I don't I don't really want to get into it, you know, because it's a new year, uh, don't worry, I'm not depressed or sad or anything, but you know, I like to hang out, out with him, you know, drink some beers with him and stuff. So, uh, here's to my dad. Uh, Sassy was actually my dad's dog. Um, now she's mine, right, pup? Yeah. Drink to the old man. I don't even know. She's probably not on camera. But that's all right. Here we go. Drinking to the dad. Mmm. Yeah. It's getting warmer in here. 59 degrees, boys. I got to do some more inflation in the old uh, climate although it's it's pretty good it's just not ideal but what is this man it's fucking great I love it well all right guys I'll tell you it's about 3 30 in the afternoon uh, for a January day, it's pretty non-winter like. But what are you gonna do, man? If all you got is what you got, it's all you got. I'm having a pretty good New Year's Day. Um, I think I've already told. <laughs> I think. <clears throat> excuse me. Pause for editing. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I think you guys already figured out it wasn't making breakfast. I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to make my Dorito pie tonight. Um, I'm starting to get pretty hungry. I don't know. I've been eating a lot of jerky. <sighs> yeah, man. It's cold out here. Uh, it's um, 17 degrees. Uh, I still have this wood here that I'm not going to fuck with unless I absolutely have to. Because I still got some inside. But let's get in the old hot tank here, guys. Let's see what what's going on. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, look. Huh. There's a gorilla in here. Hey, pup. Yeah, it's not. 
It's not too bad in here, guys. Uh, zip that up. Yeah, man. Let's see. Well, it says uh, 62 in here, down here. Fuck. My fan, the battery's dead. Um, I'm going to have to charge it, guys. I don't know. I got this uh, flux mob uh yeah flux mob bolt bolt two bolt squared um battery pack maybe i can charge that you know what i can't because i don't have a cord um so i'm gonna have to get a cord for that uh yeah well where's my beer here it is so uh yeah guys it's um it's almost 3 30 now it's warm enough in here, but it's not as warm as I want it to be. I'm thinking, you know, the last time that I really did some hot tent camping or hung out in the hot tent was when I had the hot tent in the front yard. And I had it up to like 80, 90 degrees in here. I think those days are over now that winter is actually here. All right, guys, since I got to start cooking soon, because I don't know how I'm going to make it. I'm throwing this big old hunk of wood right here. Uh, you can see maybe inside there. I don't know. But there's some good coals. Hopefully this thing, I don't really... Hot. Fuck. Yeah. Guys, if I haven't said it before, don't do anything that I do. Um, but we're just going to close that up. Actually, we're going to poke it in there a little bit. With this piece of wood. Yeah. There are tools for this, but I don't have it. Ain't got the tools, ain't got the talent. It's fucking PBR time. And guys, here's another thing I noticed. Um, I think I tried to get into this in an older video. I don't think I did, but the uh, best pro shops eclipse uh, camping stool has seen better days this thing is shot boys um i'm still gonna rock it for the duration of this uh misadventure because i think i can you know somehow get my skinny ass to fit on there but i'm gonna be needing a new one and this thing you know i got it from bass pro shops we do have one semi-locally um i think i've spent like 12 dollars on this thing uh but what i need guys i mean i've got camping chairs you guys know that you've seen them i've had them out here in the hot tent i may have to go get one um but if anybody has a good suggestion for like a good you know just camping chair something that packs down a relatively small that jesus I'll tell you heartburn it's killing me all that jerky yeah it's your fault gorillas because we've been eating jerky but yeah if you guys got any ideas for some kind of camping chair that packs down really small leave it down in the comments um i know sam bananas i watch a lot of his stuff watch his newest thing yesterday it was pretty good um but you know just like some little camping chair because i know you know i'm out here in my backyard in this hot tent which is fucking ridiculous as it is but for future camping and stuff and i don't always like to bring the chair out here because you guys know i don't have a lot of room so i like to fill everything up with just ridiculous amounts of crap but if you got an idea for a camping chair for me something to pack sound that i could take if i ever were to go backpacking please <clears throat> leave that down in the comments jesus i mean man alive this does actually look terrible um i guess i shouldn't complain because i've had it for so long uh i feel like i should sew it up but you guys know i mean i've tried to sew up old coleman camping chairs i never have any luck sewing chairs um so here's another thing guys uh, i have not done um in at least two years 
this hot day that uh this luxurious hot day <laughs> well you know that i'm hanging out in you guys know that um my shady benefactors made uh, this hot time possible um <clears throat> the biggest or the most shadiest benefactor that i've ever had this is a guy called Rooster Run. Um, he doesn't really have much of a uh, YouTube presence. He does, uh, I mean, I think he did like one video when I sent him a sticker. You've seen a picture of him before with, uh, you know, uh, Outlaw Camper t-shirt on. But you know what, guys? Uh, I'm no longer shilling for uh, subscribers because my goal is to get uh 1000 subscribers and then i was just gonna quit this fucking channel i'm just like yeah if i can hit a thousand subscribers i'm not doing this anymore but here we are 1000 plus subscribers later so um i ain't shilled in a while so it's time to shill guys uh if anybody wants to send me a camping chair just uh shoot me an email at outlawcampmail at gmail.com I'll give you my address or if you want to contribute to a new chair for Jack uh, fund the PayPal link is down in the description so there we go let's see what happens guys I ain't shilled in a while kind of feels you know I feel fucking dirty just shilling for that I feel like a fucking horror man yeah I love it feels good Woo! got me a heart on the size of Gibraltar um, so anyway let's get back to camping now that I've already uh, you know uh, been like please send me a new chair please send me money for a new chair eh, my clam aches I don't know what do you think Grillis look at this dog she wants a chair to sit in right you want a camping chair Send us your camping chairs, guys. Send us money for a camping chair. All right, or at least just send us uh, suggestions. Okay, let's get back to camping. Oof. Say, it, guys, four o'clock. Ah. Uh, don't. Oh, look at this, guys. We might actually get a sunset tonight. Um, I was about to start cooking some food. Gonna make me that. Uh, delicious uh, Dorito pie which I threatened earlier look at this guys we got a sunset oh uh, man it is so fucking cold out here let me tell you it's beautiful right here just looking at this walking around the golf course look at this a nice piece of firewood for me oh yeah nah it's wet yeah, that's our sunset, boys. Uh, but, okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's 4 o'clock. It's uh, 12 degrees out here. Man, I just, I gotta get back into the hot tent and cook up some food. Because I'm getting hungry. The girls are inside. They're eating their food. So it's probably time for me to have some food. So let's see what it looks like in the hot tent. Yeah, well, okay. Woo! It's actually pretty warm in here, guys. Ah, oh, I'm zipping this up. Hopefully, it'll take those dogs a little while to eat. Oh, 60 degrees in here. Um, the fan that I had up there, the battery died, so that's in the house charging. Um, but what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna get some food going because I am hungry as fuck. Well, I'm hungry. You know, let's just say that. Uh, I got some cigarette here. Yeah, cold outside, guys. Um, I should not complain about the 60 degrees that it is in here. I got a big piece of wood going in there. This fan is blowing some heat. So I think, you know, and for the most part, we're going to be okay. I will be spending the night out here again tonight. Um, 
just because I don't have to work tomorrow. Um, I ain't going back to work till Wednesday. So, why not, man? Let's just ride this whole fucking strange trip right out until the end. And let's cook some food. Like I said before, uh, Frito pie. Um, I don't know how long any of you guys have been here with me, but I'm pretty sure that Frito pie was one of the first things that I made here at Outlaw Camp uh, when I was camping outside. If it wasn't, it don't really matter. Um, but what I'm doing tonight, guys, is I'm going to make some Dorito pie. Now, it's going to be pretty ghetto. Um, I mean, the Doritos are real, but the uh, the chili is from Aldi's. Uh, this is uh, the, uh, Brookdale, no beans. Because beans are not an ingredient of chili. If you guys think that beans belong in chili or that beans are an ingredient of chili... Please, unsubscribe for me. Get the fuck off my channel. Just go, just go away. Please, seriously. Beans are not an ingredient of chili. If you don't believe me, you're already on the internet. Just uh, Google, are beans an ingredient of chili? And you'll find out that they're not. So, um, the fact that they actually sell chili that does not have beans in it, um, as opposed to chili that does have beans in it is a total fucking mystery to me. But what are you going to do? Um, anyway, Aldi's uh, does not have Brookdale. They don't do pop tops. So I got the can opener here. This is a girlfriend's can opener. She's going to kill me if she finds out that I have this. But I'm just going to kind of the vent you know what I'm gonna open up the whole top yeah so I'm doing I'm probably not even on camera it don't really matter fuck yeah okay you guys think I've been drinking all day I have been drinking all day you know why this is fucking outlaw camp and that's what we do you know what I'm gonna move the fan off of that and continue to open up this chili there we go good enough just vent the old top just like that and you know what this don't look too bad guys yeah see to tell you the truth it really doesn't look that bad to see uh brookdale all these chili um so we're just gonna let that warm up there on the old wood stove and then Jesus Christ, I guess they know I'm cooking. Well, I'm just gonna leave that there. I guess I might have to get the dogs. I don't even know, guys. Um, anyway, there's Sassy. Come on, let's go. Back into the hot tank. Sassy was inside the whole time, even though I'm screaming. There's some girl running down the street yelling at me because my dog's barking. Find your dog, your dog's on the loose. What the living fuck is going on, boys? Uh, we still haven't figured out how to one-handedly open up the hot tank. And you know what? It don't matter. Yeah, the chili's still on there. Okay. So this is it, boys. Ah, uh, fuck. I have no desire to go inside. I shouldn't need to go inside anymore. I should be able to just hang out here in the hot tent and have a nice relaxing evening uh will that happen <laughs> definitely not i'll tell you right now guys um fuck since i was born it's a new year it's gonna be even worse than last year there is no fucking way that anything is gonna be good except for this food that i'm about to cook well all right guys uh the chili is still on there. It's uh, 4.30, um, 17 degrees outside, 57 here in the hot tank, at least over there. Uh, over here, it's definitely a lot warmer. 
but I am beyond hungry guys you know I should not have skipped that breakfast I should have made breakfast I didn't make breakfast what are you gonna do but I'm finally gonna have the Dorito pie so this chili here um, this is straight from the can boys we're just gonna stir it up a little bit um, smells good it's all right you know for all these what do you want you now all you got is what you got it's all you got but I am looking forward to what I am gonna about to eat I've been looking forward to this for days guys I've been actually looking forward to this for weeks I mean even before Christmas I planned on doing this um, actually I was gonna do this on my birthday but you know other weird shit happened yeah that chili is nowhere near hot enough um so <clears throat> yeah all right so guys um all right this is uh actually a lid um from this little cook pot here that i got from a battle box I don't know how many fucking years ago but it was a long time at least 10 years ago probably maybe more I don't know maybe less it don't matter um, but basically this is like a little frying pan and you know I'm hungry I got it I I need this chili to get warmer so I'm just gonna fucking hot motherfucker yeah okay well fuck all right <laughs> I obviously have not learned anything. Um, just, you know what? We're just going to dump this. Some, a bunch in there. There we go. Yeah. And this can will set down there. Uh, yeah. That'll warm up, boys. Don't worry. Ah, uh, shit. Well, yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Now, guys, uh, this being my tent, and I'm the only one out here, I still got to worry about the dog um, and her sister if she comes out. So I am going to sort of attempt to just kind of clean that up a little bit. And then, you know what we're going to do with the old garbage? Yeah, we're just going to throw it right there. Well, we can try to. Jesus, come on. Yeah, might as well just put that piece of wood in the old wood stove, too. Yeah, you guys know how awesome shit works for me. Uh, it never does. Uh, so this can of chili that I almost burned my hand on. Uh, it's right there on the stove. I got no... Oh, there's a spoon. It's right over here. Yeah, all right. There we go. See, I should have... Uh, should have sprayed this pan i didn't but that's okay i'll tell you guys this stuff's a little bit spicy but okay yeah you know what we'll just stick that right in that can i'm gonna let that warm up guys uh you can see it's getting darker in here uh blizzard lanterns going uh it is i gotta keep checking the old thermometer over there but it's uh, 60 degrees in here which is comfortable it's 20 minutes until five sun is already set you saw whatever it was that i had it doesn't matter um i'm in here for the duration uh, hopefully i will not have to go inside i got a feeling that poodle is going to come out but what are you going to do guys we will be eating eventually i promise you uh so this chili is it's as warm as it needs to be you see that steam in there um so now frito pie is something that you make with fritos it's just fritos chili and some cheese but fritos uh you know for the most part guys fritos are fucking disgusting they're just like a super salty corn chip and they destroy me so i figured instead of frito pie let's make dorito pie um and you make it right in the bag um 
I don't want to make a huge bag of this. So I got these little bags of Doritos. Uh, I got these for like 50 cents somewhere, which is kind of crazy because the suggested retail app. Yeah, the manufacturer's suggested retail price is um, 149. However, these expire in about 15 days, so that's probably why they were 50 cents. Anyway, crush it just a little bit, guys, and uh, open up, yeah, crush it a little bit more. You know, to make it more like, you know, Fritos. And now that you got your, uh, you know, semi-crushed up Dorito mess, uh, get yourself some cheese. Of course, all these cheese. What are you gonna do? You know, if all you got, it's what you got. It's all you got. Uh, yeah, it says tear here resealable package. We all know how these things work. Guys, don't do anything that I do. Never open anything with your teeth. Seriously. See, I didn't even need to pretend to open that with my teeth. Um, and lots of people argue, do you put the uh, chili in first or then the cheese? I don't know. I like to put the cheese in first. Uh, so I got me a big old hank of this, all these cheese. Just throw that in. Yeah. All right. Maybe, you know what, a little bit more. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this is just uh, Mexican style. And then I noticed it was reduced fat. Um, I need extra fat, guys. You guys have seen me. Um, it's a blend of cheddar, Monterey Jack, Asadero, Quesadilla, and finally shredded cheeses. This is cheese that Aldi's made up. Um, the next thing you need, guys, is... Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how dumb I want to get. Pouring fucking hot chili right over my fucking, my ball sack. Not a good idea. All right, so we're just gonna dump some of that in there. Woo, that's probably good. Okay. Yeah, we'll just set that down there. You can see it's steaming. All right, and then just, you kind of stir it up. Yeah. Um, easiest thing to do if you're making this why you would be i have no idea you know why because it's fun just fucking yeah shake it up like this shake it up like that boys there you go all right and then now what we got dorito pie um i don't know like i'll see let's see you guys see this what it looks like it actually don't look too bad, right? Oh, this bag is hot. Um, now I learned about Frito Pie from uh, Steve Wallace. Uh, everybody knows Steve Wallace. There's no point in pimping him. Um, and I think, like I said, Frito Pie was something I did in one of my first videos. I don't really remember. Um, if you guys want to go down and watch and see what it was that I made, feel free to correct me down in the comments. Here we go, man. Look at this. Free, or Dorito pie. Ooh. Mm-hmm. My God, guys. I will tell you. See this here? Look at this. Yeah, man. I've been looking forward to this. <laughs> for a long time I've been looking forward to this since last year mm-hmm yeah the only thing the only thing that sucks about it is I'm not really sure how to feed any to my dog but she don't need it man mmm I love this. Oh my god. It's so good. And it's so much better with Doritos than it is with Fritos. So, I'll tell you guys. Look at this. Okay? Yeah, man.
Well, yeah, guys. Um, you can kind of see some uh, outside dusk. The uh, blizzard lantern's going. And I'm just sitting here in the almost dark. However, it's that easy to remedy the situation. That's a little light. There we go. That's a little more pleasing. Uh, I'll tell you, the uh, Dorito pie, it was good. Um, it's 56 degrees in here. I'll tell you, uh, it's 15 degrees outside. The wind, uh, we've got a 20 mile per hour wind. It was coming in from uh, the west. Then it started coming in from the uh, east then it switched to the south now uh there's no wind but it's pretty much impossible to get this hot tent back up to the 90 100 degrees that it was uh in the fall um it's so comfortable in here don't get me wrong um i mean 56 degrees as opposed to the whatever I said it was out there 15 I don't know um, it's a lot warmer uh, I still have a bunch of wood down here guys I don't know I think you can see this mess I got a beer there I'm still drinking I got some wood in there oh man and honestly it's only 5 15 in the evening uh, it's been a pretty successful day here out at Outlaw Camp. Is it over? No, not yet. Am I sleeping out here? Yeah, I am. I got no fucking desire to go inside to rejoin the real world. Um, I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I don't have to go to work until the day after tomorrow. So that's pretty good for me. Um... I'll tell you guys, thanks for sticking with me so far through this ridiculous outlaw camper misadventure. Uh, one thing I gotta tell you, that Dorito pie, it put a hurting on me. Um, I always talk about my heartburn. Uh, it ain't good, um, but I'm gonna take me one of these 1,000 fucking, I don't even know what this was. Tums, Rolades, who the fuck knows? All I know is it's mint flavor, and I don't really like the mint flavor. I prefer the fruit ones. But, I want to be able to sleep. And, you know, like I said, it's only 5.15. Raw, so there really ain't much point in trying to go to sleep now. Uh, phone's working well enough. I've been watching El Chafe back on his back step El Chafe my back step um, I think when I woke up this morning I was like oh good morning I did my El Chafe impersonation so guys check him out seriously I know you're all watching him uh, he's super famous but if you're not just watch whatever he's doing he does lots of live stuff pop up on one of his live things and be like hey man a lot camper sent me i think he'd like to hear that um but okay guys uh man i am exhausted fuck am i gonna make it till six o'clock i don't know we'll find out well, all right guys um it's now 6 30 um I can't tell you what the last thing I filmed was because I've been inside the house fucking around for way too long. Um, you know, it, that's the biggest disappointment about backyard camping is that um, the lull of reality, like it just, like, getting back to the real world, man, it just keeps sucking you in. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um right now guys it's nine degrees outside um and inside the hot tent it is 
48 degrees. So, yeah, that's what happens when you spend far too much time in the real world camping instead of uh, camping, camping in the camping world or whatever the fuck it is you want to call it. All right, though, guys, I still got a bunch of beer. Um, and I finally got this fire going again. Hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. Um, we're going to get it warmed up in here. We're going to drink some more beers. Um, I don't know what else we're going to do. But, you know, we're spending the night out here again. So, thanks for joining me, everybody. So, right, guys. Weak attempt. Well, I wouldn't say weak. But, I'm going to get it. Try, still trying to get it warmed back up in here back to where it was oh man yeah what do we got here yeah 48 degrees still but that's over there i bet if i move the thermometer over here it'd be a lot warmer um but you can see flames going in the old uh tent stove fans going lanterns going light over there I got the uh, fan back up here. Uh, we'll use that for some artificial light a little bit later. Guys, the night is winding down. Um, it's almost seven o'clock. I don't really don't couldn't tell you how much later I'm gonna make it. Oh, I don't want to end this yet. Um, I want to see if I can get it warm enough and comfortable enough in here. Um, some of us are faithful companions. Lacey's been in the house for a while. Uh, Sassy's more than comfortable inside. We'll see. You never know when they're just going to come running back out here. But so far, guys, I know you got to keep lighting cigarettes out here. It's been a great day. Yeah, it's definitely 50 degrees already. See, it's warming up. Yeah, you know, by degrees, man, by degrees. Oh, great, great camp so far, guys. Thanks for joining me once again. I know I just keep saying that over and over, but what are you going to do? There we go. Yeah, all right. Ah. Well, guys, fire's going in there. It's uh, 52 degrees in here right now, and it is 8.40 p.m. Uh, I got me a cigarette here, um, and I got me a beer, which, if I could reach it, is going to be my nightcap. Ah, uh, man. I need to get another piece of wood in here, a big piece, because it's cold outside, guys. It is 6 degrees out there and it's only gonna get colder but i'm out here for the duration i'm spending the night out here boys let's get a piece of wood in here then we're gonna have ourselves a nightcap i'll tell you the cold is an insidious enemy guys uh someday i will get out the old canadian air force survival manual and we'll have a good time reading that. Or some of the other just great survival books I got. Um, yeah, let's get a beer. Ah, man. All right, well, yeah, see, that didn't even open. Look, how does that happen? There we go. If you can't open a beer, it might be time to just fucking stop drinking, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Cheers, guys. Uh, happy New Year once again. Happy hot tanning. Man alive. Mm-hmm. It's like a marathon hot tank kind of thing. I think. Do I have enough wood to keep me warm all night? To get me through tomorrow no i definitely don't but is that gonna stop me oh fuck no it ain't gonna stop me probably wake up freezing but i've got the zero degree sleeping bag right here i blew up the uh air pad 
uh, climate insulated static V camo, whatever. Do I, which I don't need, but I feel like when the stove goes out, I'll probably be needing it. Um, I got enough cigarettes, I think, to make it through the night. I still got some beers in there. One thing I'll tell you, I'm taking off this uh, this fleece. Um, you guys probably saw in my uh, porch turkey video um, the rumple pillow. I have no idea what I did with it. Uh, it's somewhere, I don't know where, but I had a, a Columbia fleece. It was a gray one. Uh, my girlfriend was uh, gracious enough to do all of my laundry. That's been piling up for God knows how long. I have this, Jesus. Yeah, I have this uh, blue Columbia fleece, um, which I would have stuffed in the rumple pillow if I knew where it was, but I don't. So I'll be using this uh, kind of just bunched up as a pillow. I didn't have one last night. Well, all right, guys. I'll tell you right now, it's uh, 10.30. It's two degrees outside in the hot tent here. It is 64. I got a feeling that's about as hot as it's going to get. Um, I think... You know, if I didn't say this before, with the onset of winter, because <coughs> um, it's actually winter, I do have the uh, carbon monoxide detector. I don't think I'm using it correctly. Um, I'm going to have to look this up and let you guys know. But it doesn't seem like I'm going to die. Um, I've got over here... I'm going to throw... Uh, this piece of wood in the wood stove for tonight because I got to get some sleep guys uh, It's gonna be my last night out here in the hot tent um, I mean not my last night, you know forever, but my last night for at least the next couple days because uh, tomorrow I do have off Obviously, or else I wouldn't be out here. Uh, fuck, I'm tired, boys. That Dorito pie is doing a number on my <coughs> digestive system. <coughs> I smoke too many cigarettes. <coughs> Don't smoke, if I haven't already mentioned that. <coughs> <laughs> but yeah man it's late I'm gonna get in the sleeping bag I'm gonna go to sleep I'm gonna see how long I can last hopefully I can make it all night um, and we got another day out here in the hot tent and we'll figure out what happens tomorrow so thanks for joining me everybody uh and honestly, I ain't even gonna finish this beer. I mean, I'm gonna do my best, but yeah. My best has never been good enough. <laughs>